happy Monday morning, everybody. Uh, today we are going to be dealing with um, uh, window visor repairs. Let's say maybe uh, you lost yours, it fell off, or maybe you had to take it off, or maybe you're just putting new ones on. Um, here's what to expect. If you are buying new ones, you'll have uh, double-sided tape already on here. Now, if you had to remove yours, uh, you're going to no longer have that on there anymore. So, uh, your double-sided tape, of course, at this point is going to be ruined as soon as you pull it off. There's not going to be a hope that you are going to be able to reapply your visor uh, if you once it is removed from the vehicle. So, what you're going to want to do is very gently take a, a utility knife and scrape off any of the excess. Okay, now I already went ahead and gone ahead and done this. Then what you should do is take some wax and grease remover. Okay, I already have some dabbed here on a piece of paper towel. All right, and any remnants that is left on the vehicle, the we grass and uh, the uh, wax and grease remover will uh, take off most of the adhesive. It's it's like an alcohol. Uh, a base type of thing like it, it'll definitely take off the, any little bit of adhesive that's on the truck uh, you're going to want to remove that first and foremost okay because if you decide to try and, and reapply it with um, with any remnants of the old adhesive on there uh, it's, it's not going to stick very well plus the surface has to be totally clean look at this right that's no good to you look at this that's definitely no good to you yeah this came off the vehicle it may look clean to you but really it is not so take some wax and grease remover, damp a rag like this. Okay, you can get the the wax and grease remover for about six, seven dollars at most uh, auto body uh, supply stores. You know, you can get that stuff anywhere. So you want to use that. You want to clean it up. Um, rubbing alcohol will even work too if you don't have this stuff on hand. Then what you're going to want to do is uh, buy yourself. I prefer uh, 3M products. I've been using 3M products for a very long time when it comes to auto body refinishing work and whatnot. So I'm using uh, 3M Advance double-sided tape, uh, trim repair tape, and uh, basically it comes in in about oh, t ah, about a 10-foot roll, just like this. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to get started. We're going to apply the double-sided trim tape all the way along here, the spent visor, and we're going to reapply it on our truck here. Okay, so starting off here, we're going to uh, start by starting at this very far end here because this is in a straight line here, so I don't have any curves down here. And I'm going to just very gently go ahead and start applying my double-sided tape. Make sure it's not. Make sure you're not going outside the lines because it's very Im important that uh, you keep um, within uh, the visor. If you go overboard, if you go over the edge, you're going to see that, right? So you want to make sure you take your time with this. It's not a race. Uh, another thing too, very important. You want to make sure that you're at room temperature. Uh, the temperature is actually 9 degrees Celsius outside. I do have the furnace running right now uh, to try and get it up to room temperature. Um, so I'm just going to very simply just go along here just like so. Okay, Just uh, push it down. Um, and Like I said before, you want to make sure the surface is clean and dry. So <clears throat> if, you are putting, if you are dealing with a used one, okay, you're going to want to make sure it's clean. Use wax and grease remover. If you're using new ones, you know all you have to do is peel back the backing and, and apply it. That's all you have to do. <clears throat> but this one here came off my truck. I had to take it off at one point, so I am going to reapply it. Um, yours may have fell off because the the original adhesive may be let go on you or something to that extent. So we're just going to very simply continue on until I get to the very end here and I'm going to have to cut this off and uh, start a new strip because this kind of goes on like a 90 degree angle and I'm not going to be able to make that curve, I don't think. Oop. Too far. Get a little too carried away. Maybe I will be able to make it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. might be able to. It's a bit of like an 80 degree angle. Not quite a sharp 90, but it's pretty close. Anyway, so yeah, that'll be good enough. I'm well within my within my means, so I'm gonna flip this around so you guys can see. I'm right at the end here. Okay, just like so. So I'm just gonna take my utility knife now. I'm just going to cut it off right here. If you don't cut your fingers, just like so. Now, 
set that aside. Let's go over it again. Push firmly. Make sure it's uh, sealed on there. Nice. You don't want it to fall off again. Especially if you're on uh, on a freeway. You know, you can't really stop and turn around and go get it. Well, if you're down a country road, you can. But, uh, you know, driving down a freeway, you really can't stop. So, you want to make sure that it's not going to fall off. Okay, so, I'm going to take my utility knife now, and there's, I'm just going to very gently peel back the, the adhesive, the strip that is protecting the uh, double-sided tape. It might be a little troublesome. So just gently peel back. Just do it gently because you don't want to uh, lift up your tape from the other side. So just peel back the, the backing until you get all the tape off, just like that. Okay, so now we're ready to apply it to our door. If uh, you're applying new ones, you're going to want to roll down your window so you can kind of eyeball it and you're not, you know, um, going too high or riding too low with it. My, I'm at an advantage here. I still have my back one still here, so I can kind of judge just by that. Um, so I'm just going to very simply... Kind of eyeball it. You got to have good hand to eye coordination for this. And thankfully, I don't have either of those. So, um, thankfully, since uh, editing videos comes with a, uh, a sensor beep, I can uh, beep out all the expletives if necessary. So, kind of just uh, take a glance downward. You know, if you're riding it too high, you know, you might want to correct that. You know, don't uh, don't rush into it. Nobody says it's a race or anything. You know, and before you push firmly against the gla uh, uh, against the door, you know, kind of just eyeball it. Oops. If you, you know, if you have to uh, push it up gently, you know, if you have to lower it. Just push down gently, you know. Um, but you kind of want to make sure that it's level, because uh, once you get it on there, it's it's really you know it, it's permanent at this point, unless you want to. Uh, redo everything that you've just done. So I am pretty, pretty happy with that. I'm just going to take a little glance in here. And uh, I'm, I'm quite thrilled with that. So now I'm just going to very gently push on the corner here. Just like so. Just like that. Now I recommend not driving the vehicle for at least a half hour, okay, just uh, if it's a nice mild day, take it outside, let it sit in the sun or whatnot. Um, if it's winter time, you know, maybe just leave it in your shop for about a half hour, you know, and before you take it out into the cold climates. That's pretty good. It's, it's level. Like if you take a look at the old one to the new one, you know, that's, that's pretty level there. If I have a straight edge, I could show you guys real quick here. If I take, uh, this box of sandpaper, also by 3M, you know, we're actually pretty good. Uh, I might be riding a little lower than what it, the other one was, but you really can't see that at 70 miles an hour. But, you know, if you're a real perfectionist, you know, you can still adjust it too. You can just push up gently and uh, reapply it, you know. Now, for something like this, I recommend uh, using the... Uh, the super strength molding tape, like what I purchased here. Uh, like I say, uh, at 70 miles an hour, you're going to have quite a bit of air sliding underneath here, which is going to be causing some problems. So a lot of air will be trapped under there, causing lift. So I recommend the super strength uh, double-sided adhesive for something like this. I also recommend it for this as well. So as you can see, you know, it's it's level. It's it's good enough. You know, you'll have to just take your time with it. Don't rush into it, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. So. Um, yeah, just put a uh, nice tension on it, just like so, just push on it, just like that, and you'll be set to go. You know, just give it a half hour before you start driving it down the highway. And uh, same goes for this. If you have something like this, you know, your your double strength, um, uh, double sided tape will be perfect for something like this as well. So, anyway, I hope uh, that helps some of you guys. You know, that's all it is. This is uh, $6 for a roll. You got about 10 feet, if I'm uh, informing you guys properly here. Uh, actually, no, it's only f a five-foot roll. This do They do come in ten-foot rolls. I do know that. Uh, and, of course, they're double the price. And they do come in, in thicker uh, molding tape as well. So if you have 
uh, let's say, a piece of molding like this, okay? You can actually buy uh, molding tape in thicker diameters as well for things like this. So, something to watch out for whenever you guys are uh, out there doing some work to your vehicle. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll take care of yourselves. We'll catch you back here on the weekend.